Hey, Shalom to our Barakar. You have about Shem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash Brakata. Alright, first and foremost, I want to say, Kal Halayim, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Ruel. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Aki, and that's pushing his truth and truth and sincerity. I want to start off in Luke chapter 21, verses. Uh, <clears throat> Thirty-six, just to straight to the point. Watch ye therefore, and all, and pray always. Excuse me. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. So we are to watch as well as pray. And this is just another video on uh, the current news topics. Just some things I saw that stuck out um, to me in the spirit. So we're watching the news and we're, we're, uh, we're giving it to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Let you know we're at the end of uh, Esau, who's a self-proclaimed white man. We're, he, he's losing his mind right now. This is uh, Second Ezra 6 and 7. So everything that you see going on, the earthquakes, the food shortages, these new variants of this uh, pestilence that's going on. It's letting us know we're at the end of an age. And it's not the age of Aquarius. It's the end of the age of Esau, the self-proclaimed white man, whose name, at, who's known as the devil and Satan, according to Revelation, the 20th chapter. Second Ezra 6 and 7. They answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So there's going to be a new world that's going to be established. But before that, before Jacob comes into power, which represents you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, the elect, all right, you're going to see the end. Of Esau, so you're gonna see all these things uh, <laughs> fall in line as far as the downfall of uh, Esau. So I got some things I want. I queued up on my phone. I did. I did want to do it on um, Streamyard because you know you try to put something up about this a uh, big O, and they'll flag your video quick. So what do we see on December the 20th? We saw the brother um, up in Michigan post a. Uh, a clip of uh, Fox News 66 talking about the MOTB according to Revelation 13 and 16, that microchip that that's a, a size of the grain of rice. So I got this article from the Washington Examiner. It says, watch, microchip embedded in the skin can be scanned for the C-19 OJ the Juice Man passports. And you know what I'm talking about, okay? Swedish tech startup Epicenter has developed microchip microchip technology that may be used to store and display a person's juice man status a video from the south china morning post shows the outlet video went viral last week currently boasting 2.4 million views on twitter and it's probably been going up since the video featured disruptive ceo hans Sloblad. you you heathens have the worst freaking names man who, who founded Swedish Association of Biohackers, Slobad, demonstrates how epicenter microchip embedded in the skin can be scanned for data, including one's OJ the Juice Man status. So there you go. All right, it's live here and direct. You know, there's a video that's going on. I don't know if they've taken it down. And here, here the thing is, the brothers are reposting what Fox News said. So you need to take down Fox News video in Detroit or Michigan all right, I believe it's like Upper Michigan, sorry. But you need to take that video down. Here it is. Which brothers are simply reposting what you said. See, it goes to show you that they hate this truth. So here we go. All right, we're in that time of uh, Revelation 13 and 16. Then you got IUIC with their blunders from seven years ago, talking about its philosophies of what you think. I, uh, IUCPK says it's sleeping with white women in embargo. And... That, that microchip is already here, man. This is uh, Revelation, um, just to get the scripture right quick, Revelation 13 and 16. 
<clears throat> and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. That word is G5480, which is karagma, which is the, 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 the stamp, the badge or the stamp of the Antichrist or the anti noted. So if you take that chip, all right, you are the anti anointed, the anti you are one of the anti anointed or one of the anti messiah because first John two and eighteen says there's many antichrists and many anti anointed. It says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that hey, look it up. Go back to that word karagma. The uh the root word is karax, which means to impale. So they're taking this syringe and impaling your skin with this mark, this mark of the beast. It's not Christianity. You can't buy and sell with Christianity and borrow on sleeping white women. All right. And like the brother's been saying, it's time for you other Jakes in these camps to get serious, man. All right. The leaders have been compromised and set up. So on to the next topic from this phone. Um... Bear with me for a sec. Now, here we go with this uh, big O variant, you know. Um, NHL, NHL temporarily suspends league-wide operations due to slow uh, pestilence spread. It says in a bid to slow the spread of the pestilence, the National Hockey League and its Players Association reportedly agreed late Monday, which is the 20th, to a four-day pause encompassing the Christmas weekend. So here we go. Same old thing. They're going to shut down the NHL, NFL. You saw this week in the NFL, they had a couple games that came on with yesterday. That's ridiculous. Tuesday night games, two Monday night games. They're going to shut down the NBA. All right, you people going to lose it. Hey, they need to shut down the NBA, man. <laughs> Get tired of seeing Anthony Davis sorry ass. How the hell you that damn tall? And you just that damn injury prone. prone. You soft, bro. But anyways, that's just my little sports update. But, hey, get ready to see these sports venues shut down. Get ready for um, um, these stadiums to be empty once again when this big old hits. And then it is really, Esau really has a hissy fit concerning this uh, big old status. <clears throat> it says, according to the Athletic, the league-wide operations hiatus will stress from Monday through Sunday. With 10 facilities reopening no earlier than 2 p.m. local time on Sunday, the athletic reported. And like I said, they probably can go. They probably can go further on it with this NHL lockdown uh, in Michigan, which I was reading this story pertaining to the uh, MOTB. Um, the University of Michigan is uh, canceling their basketball games. So you're gonna see the NCAA, all these other sports agencies, soccer. They're probably gonna cancel Champions League for a minute. Just to, you know, for this, uh, this, these other lockdowns. And as I mentioned in my last video, and countless other brothers have mentioned, there's going to be a second lockdown. It's going to be round two. We're just here to, we're here to watch as well as pray. We're here to watch and tell our people what it is. Because, hey, most of the people, man, I went to work yesterday and Jake, they're just totally gone. Jake, I'm going to get this scripture right quick, man. I'm going to just paint, my, paint the picture. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. You have not known the Heavenly Father and His words, because these scriptures contain prophecies, man. I don't have I don't have my Bible around me, but these scriptures contain prophecies, man. All right, and these prophecies are speaking in there live right now. With this pestilence, Revelation thirteen and sixteen, everything closing back down again. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Whatever our people do, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are Sardis children. Sardis means stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And I was at work yesterday with these Jakes. You know, I, I tend not to sit with Jake at the lunchroom because I don't want to hear the stupidity. But, you know, unfortunately, I had to sit down with these Jakes. And they're, they're on Instagram looking at a blunt rolling machine. So it says they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no under, they have no knowledge. You know, they talk about sports um, and just all types of nonsense, man. But these things are really going on and we're reporting to you people about what's going on. So whether you're here for bear, that's on you. All right. We got a job to do. Are right, we getting the bloods off our hands when we go out to camp and do these lessons? So that's on that's on you folks. We're not going to get mad 
and bent out of shape because we understand that the Lord has blocked two thirds of our people from getting his word. And sometimes Jake will say something spiritual. Like it was it like when I was not to be too long when it when I was in a break room, you know, Jake was like, "Yeah, it's kind of tight, but we we was kind of tight on those slave ships." Go just show you, hey, that's the spirit of the Lord putting the spirit on men to speak, even though they don't know what they're talking about. So the, obviously, this man was talking about reincarnation in the break room, and I'm just looking, you know, I'm just looking on my phone. I, ain't, you know, I ain't saying nothing to Jake because, you know, you gotta be circumspect in these times. And if I did say something, he wouldn't have got it, you know. So uh, we we gotta continue to blow that alarm, let you people know. Isaiah sixty two and six. For Zion's sake, will I not hold my peace? That's why we do these lessons. We're not gonna hold our peace as far as these current topics, spiritual topics. You know, um, this week, brothers been doing a lot of videos about health. You know, we're not gonna hold our peace on all these topics, man. It's not this truth is it's not just cussing out and call Esau the devil and cussing out the black woman. There's very aspects to this truth. Isaiah 62 and 6, for Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Zion's sake will I not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. We're not in a land of righteousness yet, so we got to keep on pushing. Verse 62 and 6, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night, ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silence. So we're not supposed to keep silence, we're supposed to keep going and pushing this word. Until the next phase of the ministry comes, because the next phase is going to be the the, uh, the famine of hearing the word of the Lord. So the next topic, okay. Next topic, uh, bear with me for a sec. Now, one of my favorite topics, your brothers <laughs> been paying attention over the past few years, man. Uh, Six point two magnitude quake shakes Northern California, and this is on Monday the twentieth. Uh, December 20th, a 6.2 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Northern California rattled a wide swath of the state shortly after noon local time, according to the data from the United States Geological Survey. The quake occurred just off Cape Mendocino, it has got to be Northern California, near Humboldt County, and was felt as far away as San Francisco and Chico, California. Now, Chico, California, that's kind of going into uh, Southern California. It was, it was, uh, it was slow rolling at first, but when it really got going, Humboldt County Sheriff William Hanso tells CNN, "We haven't had a shake like this since 2006, 2010. Excuse me, 2010. So, hey, hey, these fault lines, man, they're years overdue, man. The uh, Cascadia Subduction Zone, San Andreas fault line." They haven't really had a big earthquake since 1989 during that World Series. All right, uh, Cascadia Subduction Zone is about 300 years overdue. Um, the New Madrid Fault Line uh, in the Southeast and the Midwest, that's overdue. There's a fault line in New York State and Pennsylvania called the Ramapo Fault Line. So these things are, are bound to happen. Let's get uh There's going to be some big ones this year, man coming up there's going to be some big natural disasters on top of this pestilence because the lord is bringing these plagues swiftly and quickly second as this uh 16 let's get that one right quick um i got it highlighted in my scriptures second as a 16 and um 37 behold the plagues draw nigh and are not slack as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son within two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So these people are getting ready to mourn even more and more. All right, we, the scriptures say with us, let's get it. Let's just get it. This is uh, I made it off on this. First Thessalonians five. You know I'm pretty much fourteen minutes in. Um, First Thessalonians five and sixteen. Man, let's just go down. Rejoice evermore. So we're rejoicing, man, because we're at the end of this thing. We shouldn't be in this uh depressive state or woe is me state. We should be in the spirit of pushing and working and uh, elevating through the spirit. 
Pray without ceasing. We got to pray without ceasing. And everything, give thanks. Everything, give thanks to Yahweh Hashem Shai. Continue to pray. For this is the will of the Most High and Yahweh Shai concerning you. Quench not the spirit. So we're not to quench the spirit, especially. Take not the Holy Spirit away from me, from us. Despise not prophesying. We're supposed to prophesy. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. All right, so we go into these lessons. We got to prove all things. And uh, there was a lesson that went on from, uh, it was from a few, few years ago. Um, Elder War from Mississippi said, speak on things that you know. You know, don't be trying to reach. Um, verse 22, a stand from all parents of evil. And we see a lot of evil going on with this uh, juice man, man. People, People's skin is rotten. You know, I seen a picture on the group text. Um, people begin amputated. They have a myocard myocarditis. They're just foaming at the mouth and passing out, man. So we're abstaining from this evil that Esau is trying to give to you, man. Verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray the most high, your, your whole spirit and your soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. In verse 25, brethren, pray for us. And that also... Praying for our own selves, you know, pray for brothers, brothers, you know, having affirmities or whatnot, you know, going through all types of uh, problems. Some brothers uh, are losing their jobs right now. So, hey, I'm going to just leave it at that. You know, just another uh, news update to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, once again, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well. And peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, is pushing this truth and truth sincerity. Shalom and a Bible ball.